Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're up at the storage yard, it's a rainy day and I thought I'd get this fixed done. When we went away last, uh, the last time, uh, we noticed that the track above me, which uh, houses the sliding divide curtain, had broken in a really strange place. And we couldn't figure out why it had broke, we just had to accept the fact that it had broken. So, um, I tried fixing it myself and it didn't work, so I then went on the internet to look for a replacement part. And sadly I couldn't find that. So I had to go to the dealer and it took a few weeks to come, but I'll explain that at the end. So what I'm going to do today is show you how we are going to fix and replace the divide track uh, in the caravan. So come and join us. So here are the tools we are going to use today, very simple ones. We obviously have the replacement track, a hacksaw, a Phillips screwdriver, a craft knife, pencil and marker pen, and we also have a drill with a 4mm drill bit in it. But all these will become more apparent as we go through the video. So let's remove the original track from the ceiling. So we're going to be now cutting the track. Now what I've noticed is there's a slight angle on the original here. This is the new one. And what we're going to have to do is marry that up. So what I'm going to do is just place them on top of each other like so. Mark across and then cut it with a hacksaw. So how I did this was very simple. I, I just took the original and I put it on top of the new one and then I marked the holes like so with a pencil. Now they, they were a bit faint so I went over them with a marker. Now I don't know if you can see but I've, I've made some additional marks, some additional holes that are not set with the actual hole, original holes. Now the reason why I've done this is if I put the screws back in and unfortunately they don't um, adhere to the, the panel on the ceiling then it's going to fall off again so I might have to make fresh ones. Now as long as you're covering up where you're going to do it, it's not going to show so it's not going to look a mess. So as you can see now I've, I've done the pilot holes now and we're ready to uh, offer our screws into them once we've put it back in. So let's do that now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fit the track. Now remember like I said a minute ago is make sure that you've got this tied back so that all the lugs will align into the track. So we're going to fit it now. So I'm just going to offer that up nice and neat and as you can see there it now actually aligns with the holes. So we're going to put the original screws in now and what we're going to do is see if that will hold it. If it doesn't I will add a couple of additional screws to the holes that I've already uh, added. So it's now complete. Now as I suspected putting the screws back in the original holes wasn't the right uh, way to go. So I'm glad I did the additional uh, holes now. Now it's solid now, it's fit solid and it's secure and it will hold the curtain track. So all we need to do now is just test it. So that's it, it's a very simple fix. Um, the, the one thing I will say to you, when if this ever happens to you, I, it might never, to, to be honest, because it was such a random break and I don't even know how it happened, but you will need to contact a local dealer and you will have to supply your chassis number in order to get the correct uh, piece of track. And it, be mindful, it does take from two to three weeks to arrive. Well, thank you very much for watching. I do hope this little fix has been something that you may take away in the future. But in the meantime, bye for now.